You asked and we delivered. One of our favorite shows is Pretty Little Liars, so what better way to celebrate the show than with a pretty little cake? On Just Dead Sugar, we're bringing you some of our favorite sugary recipes that are sure to tempt and delight any sweet tooth. Pretty Little Liars has kept us on the edge of our seats since day one, and I, for one, can't wait to find out what happens next. I can just picture Aria, Emily, Hannah, and Spencer all gathered around this cake at a party. Would you care to try a slice? So to make this cake, we're gonna start by making the A. Now I did this by baking a red velvet cake, but you could also dye a white cake red. Now using an A cookie cutter, I'm gonna cut the letter A out using the cake, and you wanna push this cookie cutter as close to each other as possible so you can get as many A's out of every batch. And then I'm just gonna take one of the A's out, and we're gonna cut the little hole out of the letter. There we go. All right, now any time that A leaves her signature mark, she always has that dash A. Well, instead of making a whole bunch of tiny little dashes, I'm just gonna slice a one inch strip along the edge of the cake and then we're gonna put this entire dash in the side of the cake. I'm gonna continue cutting out the A's, but once you're done, put them in the freezer. This is not only gonna help them harden, but will also prevent them from burning when we rebake them in the cake. Now that our red A's are frozen, you need a loaf pan and a batch of white cake batter, and I'm gonna start by putting a little bit of our cake batter into the bottom of our pan as a base. Great, now we can start stacking our A's on the right side of the pan and get them as close to the edge as possible and line them up. Now at this point, you're gonna add this long strip of cake. Now don't worry, it's not gonna stay at the bottom. As this cake bakes, it's gonna rise up to the perfect spot, giving you that dash A. Now I'm just gonna cover the entire thing with the rest of the cake batter. Now don't worry that it looks uneven, it's gonna bake up perfectly. Now we're gonna put this into an oven that's been preheating at 325 degrees for about 30 minutes or until a toothpick inserted comes out clean. So what's for dessert? So once the cake has cooled, we're going to decorate it. I'm using a simple buttercream frosting. You can find the recipe on Pop Sugar. Now I'm gonna show you a really easy frosting technique. So just start by coating your entire cake with frosting and then once that's done, you're just gonna grab more frosting and dragging your spatula into the shape of a half circle or a half moon, you're just gonna create these cute little whipped peaks. I'm telling you, if you don't have time to really do a gorgeous, precise frosting technique, this is great for beginners, but it also just looks really good. Okay. Great, so once this is frosted, you can decorate it any way you want. I'm using beautiful sugar flowers to hide the surprise inside. Now you can get these already made at a little bake shop or you can make them yourself by cutting out little daisies from fondant or gum paste. Then I'm gonna add just a little celebratory banner and keep decorating the cake with little flowers. This cake is just like Pretty Little Liars, pretty and perfect on the outside, but the more layers you peel back, the more secrets you find. Thanks so much for watching, I'm Brandy. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comment box below which show you'd like to see me make in sugar form. And don't forget to subscribe to Pop Sugar Girls Guide. See you next time.